Hi, this is Siddiqui Rabbani from Bybit Limited. We are innovating technology for the people. About 4 billion of global population living in the third world villages do not have access to qualified doctors for consultation. Telemedicine through internet, having integrated diagnostic devices can offer a realistic solution. However, telemedicine technology is still in its infancy worldwide and that from the developed West is not suitable at all for the third world. So what we need is an innovative solutions from the third world itself. Here comes the solution from Bybit. It is a telemedicine package, especially for primary and secondary healthcare in third world villages. Here the doctors can sit in towns and cities, and they can offer the consultation and prescription to patients in village centers, even at their homes through internet and personal computers and smartphones. The strength of Bybit is that the telediagnostic devices and softwares are developed locally. Therefore, it has the capability to adapt technology to any situation, to any country. And it has a plan to transfer the technology to qualified engineers in each country. And the unique plan is that no patent will be taken. And so the market is expected to spread widely, but the leadership will remain with Bybit since they have the initial technology and the capability to go on further. What is the marketing strategy? We plan to market the packages through service providers like NGOs, hospitals, and governments, first in Bangladesh and then abroad in the third world. How many customers would we expect? If we make a package which will serve 100 rural centers, and if we have one rural center for 10,000 people initially, we can expect about 4,200 packages globally for 4 billion people in the world. And if Bybit expects to take about 5% of this market, so it comes to about 210 packages sold in five years. But definitely the demand will increase with time. So there should be more rural centers in 10, about 10,000 people and the demand is going to rise and rise. Regarding market competitions, there are not too many because most of the telemedicine operators in the third world do not have integrated diagnostic devices. If they have, they will be imported. So the cost wise, they will be also too high. And since Bybit has all its technology developed indigenously, they will be easy to repair. And since they will transfer the technology to people in each country, they will be a long usable life. The current funding requirement is about 140 lakh taka, which includes fixed cost and working capitals. The business plan is based on the current requested investment of 1.4 crore taka and it is expected that uh, we'll sell about 210 packages in five years and the profit from each year will be reinvested, part of it will be reinvested to increase the production and marketing. And the net profit expected from the five year uh, term is about 92 crore taka, corresponding to a return on investment of about 88%, which seems to be a viable business proposition. The management team comprises of old and young people having long experience and expertise in technology innovation and its implementation. They have already won national and international awards for uh, providing telemedicine services in Bangladesh. Bybit's telemedicine system from Bangladesh is poised to reach every corner of the deprived world. Thank you.